everyone, this is Pause or Repeat. Here we figure out whether a game is really worth your time and money. Today's game is Dredge. Do you enjoy a good fishing game? Well, Dredge might be just for you. But it isn't just your average fishing game. You'll quickly realize that there is a mysterious atmosphere afoot filled with eldritch, lovecraftian horror. It plays perfectly into the mysteries that the oceans hide. But how does this affect gameplay? The gameplay of Dredge greatly involves you going out to fish by boat. While you're out fishing, you're playing a game of inventory management due to your limited carrying capacity. After fishing, you can go back to town and sell your fish for a profit to further upgrade your ship. All the while, you're also completing quests for the townsfolk. However, if you decide to sail during the night, that's where things get interesting. During the night, you have a sanity meter that will deplete the longer you are on the waters. As your sanity depletes, you start to encounter horrors attempting to end your escapades. Whether they are a figment of your imagination or not, they definitely do real damage to your ship, which will eventually break, sending you back to your last save point. How does this all play into the story? The story of Dredge is riddled with mystery. Without spoiling anything, you're sailing around the areas of the fictional town Greater Marrow and surrounding islands looking for fish to catch. You quickly find out that there is a connection between some of the townsfolk and the horrors that come out during the nighttime. From there, the story unfolds alongside the peaceful yet eerie atmosphere of sailing during the day. Altogether, the game is about 12 hours give or take depending on your pace. But now the question still stands. Pause or repeat? Yeah, Dredge came out of left field this year. Like, no, I don't think anyone was expecting it to be this game that, you know, came out to such a widely accepted uh, view of, oh, this game is really, really good, actually. Uh, and I agree. I'd say this game is great. It's actually such a great game that I want to say it's probably game of the year contender, I'd say. You know, it, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I think you're absolutely correct. I mean, if we're going to be bringing in indie developer games like Stray into the mix for game of the year, this is absolutely in that Excalibur of a game. I've been kind of dying to play a fishing game in a quick second. I used to remember when I was on the Windows 98. <laughs> you know playing Bassmaster and you know some of the things that were really missing was some of those fun aesthetics like you know uh, fishing in the nighttime and dealing with some of these uh, mythical creatures that you see in this video game uh, you're definitely going to want to repeat it and I think it's fun to bring in all ages into the mix so I, I think it's going to be kind of difficult Henrik the Wreck to be sharing your controller uh, <laughs> since it is a one player game <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I know there's a lot of hard hitters this year in terms of Game of the Year, and, you know, we'll be talking about a couple of them maybe in one of our topics later on, but uh, I, I still think, you know, this one's definitely up there this year, at least so far, and, I mean, maybe that's part of me just being someone who loves horror, but I think this game's great. It's definitely a repeat for me, and I recommend anyone who's watching to play it as well, because you'll have a good time. Yeah, I think that's absolutely correct, my man. And I think uh, we might as well leave that on a final note because you said it so perfectly. <laughs> so you're uh -huh. in the jaws of Moby Dick. This is the game for you. <laughs> so I guess I'll say it right now. This is a definite repeat.